I'm not what you think I am. Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome to this review, and today we're going to be reviewing Captain Marvel, the next chapter in the MCU, so Captain Marvel was absolutely incredible, and I'm not understating that, it is incredible. Brie Larson is funny, quirky, and insanely smooth as Carol Danvers, and she is perfectly cast. There is no doubt about it in my mind, this is the perfect casting, and going forward in the MCU, this is one of the things that I'm especially looking forward to in Avengers Endgame after seeing Captain Marvel. She is excellent. And backed by the hysterical Samuel L. Jackson, who as per usual was on top form as Nick Fury in this case, delivering hysterical laugh out loud moments throughout the film, and especially with Goose, the cat, who is absolutely adorable, but yet mysterious and seriously funny throughout and it's the pairing between both of those two that is really weirdly perfect and so the cat is a star and i repeat the cat is a star we need to see more from this cat so the film acts as an origin story for carol danvers it has many twists and turns throughout the plot and is action-packed with great fight sequences and enormous spectacle whilst also acting as a down-to-earth character study of a fish out of water type story with Carol actually finding her way back. It is a lot of the tender moments throughout the film that truly resonate and leave an impression as well as those massive spectacle moments that are just brilliant as well. But the CGI is very consistent throughout. There is perhaps only one blip during one scene where she falls from the sky and it's a little bit shabby but apart from that it is marvellous. Yes. I just said that. The film is incredibly colourful, the colour palette is incredibly mixed, I love the mix of reds and blues and the greens and blacks and different shades. It truly breaks away from the somewhat bland visual style of a lot of past Marvel films, obviously excluding some, and it enhances the look to create a story and a world so vivid it is a pleasure to look at. Also the de-aging technology in terms of CGI is rather flawless, you literally have no doubts in your mind that you are watching a younger Samuel Jackson or briefly a younger Clark Gregg. And overall, Captain Marvel is a action-packed intergalactic film that spends a lot of time off-world, but also like I mentioned, on Earth. It is a balancing game that has been balanced perfectly just like Thanos would like. It is that mix between the down-to-earth moments and those spectacle moments that truly come together and make a film that is really, really great and solid in terms of narrative and it really does a great job at balancing that stuff. And oh yeah, there is two end credit scenes, so stay for them. I'm sure I will do a video on the end credit scene potentially sometime later today. So just to wrap this up, as a quick overview for my thoughts on Captain Marvel, Captain Marvel is hilarious. It's full of action and it's full of heart. It is truly one of Marvel's best films so far, and I'm not just saying that because it's a new film. It is truly that good. So thank you guys so much for watching this review. If you want to see more Marvel videos or more Marvel reviews, or you want to follow me on Twitter, follow me at the DC TV Show, and also I'm going to be doing that post credit scene video, and also I believe I'm going to be doing a ranking video for all the Marvel films up to Captain Marvel sometime either today tomorrow or the next day and also go over to discussing film where i have my written review for captain marvel out at the very same time this video goes up 2 p.m uk time when the embargo lifts so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys later goodbye